One man, one fly, one minute to kill it, to win 100 pounds. Man versus fly. Well, welcome to the Flight Zone, where I'm joined as ever by the man who has hit the highest heights of highness. It's Pat Cowell. Mate, I've hit the heights of fly swatting. I've hit millions of flies. I've hit squatters. And I've had a hit record, mate. I didn't, I didn't know that, Pat. Yeah, 1990, a little song called Do The Pat. Got to number one in Australia, New Zealand, Tuvalu, Vanuatu, and Western Samoa. Well, I'm just checking Wikipedia, and it seemed it also reached 754 in the UK and 2,324 in the USA. Congratulations, Pat. Eat a dick, fat man. Who have we got in the dome today? Crikey. Someone who got dressed in the dark by the looks of him. Oh, he's crook, mate. He's crook. He doesn't look well, does he? So, uh, how's he going to kill the fly, Pat? Well, this is one of the hardest techniques in man versus fly. He's going to have to try to trap the fly in his own snot and then crush it in the tissue. So, £100 if he somehow manages to kill the fly and the fly set free if he can avoid being swatted. Or should I say snotted, Pat? Well, here he is, Josh Pole. Illness, he's got a bad cold, bless him. Contagiousness, high. Temperature, 40. Good Lord. Prognosis, full recovery in four to five days. There is a light at the end of his tunnel. That's a long four or five days, though, isn't it? Just sitting there watching daytime TV. He's up against Bradley window bumper. Illness, consumption, contagiousness, extremely high. Temperature, 100. Good Lord. Prognosis, a certain death. Well, we'll soon see, won't we? Well, is this a dead man walking? This fly's going to die anyway. So he's oh. oh, oh, holy dooly. That is, that is not right. He's made that very opaque, hasn't he? The fly can't get a good look at his opponent now, can he? That's a good strategy. I like this fella. Well, the fly wondering whether he should come out or not. I mean, oh, I'd oh. be staying in there, get covered in that sort of a sheen. Well, he does come out and uh, tissue at the ready and, oh. All right, so he's got to use anything that comes out of his nose or mouth is fair game. Obviously, uh, it's going to be highly infectious, but I don't think we've got enough time in 60 seconds for the fly to die of influenza. It's a very tough way to kill a fly, mate. He's just waiting genuinely for a hawker to arrive. Oh, dearie me. What's the fly doing? Is it drowned yet? Oh, he's digging deep in there. He's really trying to pull one out of the lung. He's looking for that loogie of death. He's, oh. looking, he's looking for that big bush oyster to really knock it on its ass, isn't he? Well, I had issues coming to work with a broken toenail. This must be near on impossible, Pat. Yeah, it's very tough. It's very tough. I've only ever done it twice, mate. That's how tough it is. And one of those times, I actually had to uh, go over to Spain, pick up the Spanish flu, come back to get enough green in my lungs to get the fly. Okay, three seconds to go. He's, you don't want to waste it in the tissue, oh. son. No good looking in the tissue. Get it out. Get it at the fly. Out of time there, and that's a fly win. Look, the fly's dead anyway. It's crook as a dog. But uh, that bloke, I mean, look, it is, it's a limited way to kill a fly, but he's done the best he can. Look at this close-up. He, he really rattled the lungs trying to get something out there. And have a look at this. There's plenty of volume in that. But he's missed the fly. That's the trouble with this. Your eyes close when you sneeze or when you blow your nose. It makes it difficult to spot. Freedom for our fly. And no 100 pounds for our deathly cold student there. I like I like a bout with a bit of fluids. I remember one time I uh, could only use effluent from the back door. So I got a chook. I kept it outside in the sun two and a half weeks. Ate it raw. Two hours later, I was ready to go, mate. Went into the dome. 3.2 seconds. Bang. Wow. Yeah, mate. Yeah, we coined a new turn. That is... that. That is the Pat Cal Salmonella shotgun, my friend. It's in every guidebook.